It's a public health crisis of massive proportions. Lead in the water supply in Flint, Michigan. Sometimes it's easy to forget this has been going on for two years. The trio of new studies provide new alarm about rising sea levels and the prospect of further flooding along the coasts. One third of California's population lives with substandard air quality, according to state officials. Louisiana state bird covered in oil, a symbol of the Gulf disaster. Speaker Ryan, as we celebrate Earth Day, it's clear that we need to protect our natural resources, which are so precious to our generation today and to our children's generation tomorrow. It is outrageous that families in my hometown of Flint still do not have safe water to drink due to high levels of lead. No parent should ever have to worry about the water their kids and family drink. In Los Angeles, we have the highest rate of ground level smog in the country, threatening the health of our children and families. We need to clean up our air so that all our citizens are safe in Los Angeles and throughout the country. On the coast in Florida, we are seeing rising sea levels that threaten our state and make clear the danger posed by climate change. Regardless of where you live, every American family deserves a healthy environment. House Democrats are standing up to protect our air and our water and to make sure every place in our country is a good place to raise a family. House Democrats signed on to a brief in support of President Obama's Clean Power Plan. And we did this to lower harmful carbon emissions across the country, but also to protect public health and create about 300,000 jobs when this plan is fully implemented. We can't govern on the cheap when it comes to our environment. This Earth Day, House Democrats stand ready to protect our environment, and we call on this Congress to join us.